we competed in a global competition called the Cybathlon that is helping us to design better rehabilitation interventions. So think of it like a bionic Olympics. We competed in the upper arm prosthetic limbs competition, the arms race. Although when you say it's like an arms race, it sounds like <laughs> that is not at all. You don't want to be, I don't really want to be in an arms race. So we were in the, the, field, upper, yes. the upper arm prosthesis race of the Cybathlon. And our pilot, Chris Nielsen, was working with us to pilot our lab's bento arm technology to do a series of challenge tasks in the Cybathlon. So this, the, uh, the upper limb competition involves fine object manipulation, lifting heavy objects, stacking and sorting objects, uh, uh, fine dexterity tasks like navigating a metal ring around what's called a hot wire task, like moving a metal object on a wire without touching it. How'd it go? It went really well. Um, <laughs> we managed to get Chris scored uh, uh, in the top eight in the entire world in the arm competition. Congratulations. And Chris as well, like he doesn't have a biological elbow. So he was uh, piloting a system that had a robotic elbow actuator where a lot of the other pilots had a biological elbow and they they had a robotic, say, hand and wrist system. It was very impressive to watch, especially that he was able to control all of the different aspects of his device so so naturally and so flexibly to be able to, to again, complete some fine manipulation tasks that were very hard for the people with the larger and bulkier robotic arms they were trying to pilot. 